For today's tutorial, we're going to cover a couple delicate braided hairstyles from the TV show Rain. The first one is worn by Olivia in Season 1, and the second one by Queen Mary in Season 2. What's great about these styles is that they're meant to look sparse and delicate, so people with thin hair, small braids can still get a screen-worthy look. Starting on Olivia's hair, part your hair down the center, and then pick up a section of hair from your crown. Split this in half and rope braid by twisting one strand, crossing the strands in the opposite direction from that twisting. Twist the second strand, cross again, and continue down the length of your hair. By the way, the longer your hair is, the longer this hairstyle will take because of the length of braiding, so plan your schedule accordingly. <laughs> At the end of the braid, where you can't twist the strands together anymore, take a small clear hair elastic and tie the end secure. For braid number two, pick up a small amount of hair from your forehead next to the center part. Split in half. Twist the lower strand towards the ground and then cross it up over the other strand. Pick up a little bit more from your hairline and add it to the new lower strand. Twist this towards the ground and cross up over the upper strand. And then with this new lower strand, add in more hair, twist, cross over the other one and you get the picture. This is the process for forming a lace rope braid. Create the lace braid along your hairline and down to your ear. When you've reached your ear, stop adding in more hair and finish this braid as a normal rope braid, securing the ends with a clear elastic. Make another mirror image lace rope braid on the other side of your head. In most cases to look good, you want lace rope braids to twist away from your face, as you can see this one doing, so it's important that you twist the individual strands down towards your face like I described, so that the strands can be twisted together in the opposite direction, which is the necessary pattern to hold a rope braid together. Also, the braid may gradually drift away from the hairline the farther you go down your hairline because of the position this braid puts your hands in, but that's what we want for this style, so don't worry about it. These braids are then arranged at the back of the head in rosette shapes. To do this, pick up the braid in the back, and starting at the very end, coil up the braid like a spool of thread, or a fruit roll-up, whichever simile you like best. Do this slowly, because it's difficult to hold this roll together the farther you go up the length of the braid. When you finally reach the root of the braid, which should be in the middle of the back of your head, pin this rosette here with bobby pins. This step is tricky too, because you want to make sure that a pin is hooked through every layer of the roll, and especially the ends of the coils so that they don't pop out. Ideally, you also want these pins to be hidden at the same time, so probably do this in a mirror if you can. Coil up one of the side braids as well. Once rolled most of the way up, pin this coil above and slightly to the side of the first rosette. Then coil up the other side braid, and also pin this above and to the side of the first rosette so that it's touching the first two like a little nest of flowers. Olivia wears some decoration with this, so I'm going to take a few pearl spin pins and twist these into the center of the rosettes. The nifty thing about spin pins is that you can affix decorations pretty much anywhere on the head, and they help hold braids in place as well. After that, you now have Olivia's braided rosette hairstyle. The Queen Mary style I'm going to show you next is similar in aesthetic, with small braids secured at the back of the head. To begin, section off a strip of hair along your hairline from part to ear that's more or less an inch wide. Split the strip into four even parts, and make little rope braids with each of these parts. You can put elastics at the end of these braids if you want, but they're so small and since we're going to undo some of this braiding later, I'm just going to temporarily hold them with clips while I work on the other braids. When you've made four little rope braids with these four parts of hair, do it all again on the other side of your head. Section off a strip of hair along the hairline from part to ear, divide into four parts, and rope braid each of these. After all that, you'll now have eight little braids. Pull all of these braids together at the upper back of your head, and tie together with a little hair elastic. Undo all the braiding below this tie. Pick up a section of hair from right beneath this hair tie now, and split into three strands. Drop the tail of the rope braids in between two of these strands, and then English braid them. For reference, English braid is just another name for a normal three-strand braid. 
Tie off this braid and you have a braided half up hairstyle worn by Queen Mary. If you liked watching this tutorial, I have a lot more like this. Click on the videos here to see other period show hair tutorials. And please consider subscribing as well. Hope to see you around again and have fun braiding!